Hello guys, welcome to a new video and today I will bring you a team of the year player review um, So as you know, there's the defenders and the goalkeeper and yeah, I've decided to go with uh, David Luiz And if you're wondering why he's in midfield, I'll say that in a sec But we're doing David Luiz, I paid 1.6 million for him, he's about 1.2 I'm guessing while recording this, I don't know You could probably pick him up for 800k, uh, this is Playstation You could probably pick him up for 800k on both consoles soon enough, um, so keep an eye on him I've only played 3 games, but he did a lot in those 3 games He only got 1 goal, but... As you can see, I played him in midfield, and that's because I feel with stats like that, he's wasted in centre back. I mean, he's got good shooting and stuff. I did play him at centre back as well. I played him at centre bit, um, centre mid for half the the game, and then I moved him to centre back at the second half. Um, he has a great long shot, but I won't get into that just yet. 84 pace, 74 shooting, 78 passing, 78 dribbling, and 90 defending. 87 physical was what he has on his card. Insane stats, and just he's six foot two, so he's literally a monster in the middle of the park. But 89 rated. Team of the Year, uh, David Luiz, is a review I'm going to be doing. Let's get to, into his in-game stats. Okay, guys, getting into Luiz's in-game stats. As you can see, they're absolutely insane. I'm just going to go over them. Eight, 93 aggression, 86 interceptions, 73 vision, 81 acceleration, 81 agility, 89 jumping, 80 reactions, 85 sprint speed, 83 stamina, 85 strength, um, 85 ball control, 73 cross, crossing, 75 curve, 74 dribbling, 81 free kick accuracy, 92 heading accuracy, 75 long pass, 82 long shots, 87 marking, 86 penalties, 83 short, par um, short pass, 84 shot power, 92 slide tackle, 92 stand tackle, 77 volleys, and yeah, insane stats. And then as you can see here, you can play centre back or CDM, so that's basically where I played him, those two positions, because um, he has high medium work rate as well. And if you look at his special, uh, specialities and traits, he has aerial threat, tackling, tactician, and complete defender. So he literally is a complete defender. Traits, long thrown, power free kicks. So when you get those free kicks, he will probably score them. I didn't get any, unfortunately. Flair for a centre back is amazing. Long passer and long shot taker. I mean, his long shots are insane. Hit the bar loads of times for me. But yeah, those in game sets are absolutely insane. Either way, I'm going to show you some clips of Louise that I got in game. Okay guys, getting into the clips of Team of the Year, Davil Ruiz, I just want to highlight one thing, long shots, OP, take a long shot with this guy, he's probably going to hit the target, as you can see, he hit the bar, unfortunately I didn't actually score one, it's just very unlucky, I mean, I only played three games, but every time he took a shot, it was causing the keeper problems, and yeah, so definitely take advantage of that, which is why I feel he's better in midfield, also, he's so strong on the ball, and he's so powerful, which he just run at defenders, and he cannot be stopped, look at this, he, isn't, he just ran through the whole team, runs, in my eyes that's his goal, but unfortunately it deflects with my other player, but he done that, that's basically his goal. He's just so good, unfortunately he misses the target, yeah, but just get the ball David Ruiz, run at defenders. The, the good thing about him, he has good agility, so his dribbling feels a lot better than it actually is, and for a, a centre-back, that's actually really good. He's also got great passing on him, as you can see there, he can just ping it and he can score. Here, this is the goal he scores, lovely back heel assist, and he just finishes that really good finish, actually. Like high down the middle, but you can see how powerful he is in games. You can't stop him. Literally, try to stop him, you're gonna get fouled. He's gonna get fouled. So the only way of actually stopping him is fouling him, and that's the good thing about him. Um, he also has like great defensive stats, so he gets back. Well, he is back because he's a centre back, but he gets back a lot, and he's very defensive. But he gets forward when you need him to. So yeah, um, that's another positive. In my opinion, he's 1.3 mil at the moment. 1.1 mil, sorry. He's not worth 1.1 mil. I don't think any centre back is, but he is definitely worth like 700k I'd say and there he gets a goal unfortunately it's offside but I thought I'd show you anyway because it was a good finish um, yeah there gets taken down gets fouled he's just so powerful he causes defences problems literally he was the best player in this team I used and there was a lot of players obviously his finishing isn't the best he's a centre back at the end of the day what can you expect but he does get a lot of stuff three star skill moves also does that sort of stuff and then he goes through and takes a long shot, which is going in, but a great save. But freestyle skill must definitely help. He also has the freestyle weak foot. And again, there, great defensive tackle to save um, save the team, basically. And one last clip here, he just out-muscles the defender, and he gets the ball. But either way, I hope you enjoy, guys. Please drop a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.